All right, guys, welcome to the video. Anthony Special here with Special Analysis. Hope you are enjoying your weekend or enjoyed your weekend by the time you see this. It's that time of the week again, right? You guys all know that I'm all about higher time frame analysis. I'm going to be plotting the levels on my chart, right, for Monday morning. So I wanted to take this opportunity, invite you to join me as I plot these levels. It is something that I am a huge advocate of doing, right? You should know when, where, why, how um, these levels could potentially affect your price. You know, we'll do just kind of a, a quick review here. You can see this was Friday's action. I mean, don't you think that, you know, having this level on your chart would have been fairly meaningful, had a, a, a correction back here, found some resistance, right? Took a huge rally, came back down, so these levels all become super meaningful, right? We had a contract rollover, but you could see, you know, these things all play a part in understanding uh, where the lowest risk setup is going to occur. Now, once price reaches this point, it is your job, of course, to employ your trade plan, right? Well, if you're a trend trader, if you're trading with the trend, you're going to want to use these levels for profit taking, right? Or if you're a reversal trader, you're going to want to dive into these levels for potential reversal. So, like I said, we're gonna just kinda kick things off here. I'm gonna keep it fairly simple. Um, and I'm just gonna kinda walk you through what it is I do as I prepare uh, for the next week, okay? So, these blue levels come off of a weekly chart. What you see on the right here is a four hour chart, all right? Also exhibiting some volume profile and things of that nature. Um, I always work with a reference screen, right? I use a three minute chart as a reference screen. That's the same screen that I share with my clients. Um, big advocate of isolating the things that I need in reference to a reference screen. Uh, I then use this screen for levels, okay? And then I have another screen that's just basically naked, right? Like there's nothing on it. Why? Because I just need to see what the price is doing. Okay? Uh, on that screen particularly, I will now draw analysis based on what's happening in the moment. Right, so I have much higher time frame, I have a reference chart, and then I also have a chart that, again, I consider naked, right? And I just use that chart for intraday markets because higher time frames derive from previous days, weeks, months, years, whatever. Um, but when I'm dialed into what I'm doing in that moment, you know, I have to obviously, of course, be aware uh, of what's happening. So all I do is I plot these lines. They run from 1800 to 1800. So they're there for the entire session. I just clone them, okay? So by cloning them, I get a duplicate. I go up here and my first level is 8691, right? So go like this, 8691. Okay, nice and easy, right? Number two, clone it. My next level is going to be 8618. This is so, this is like elementary, 86.18, great, beautiful. Next, All right, now guys, you're going to ask, where do I get these levels from? Well, I do higher time frame analysis. I provide this to my clients, right? This is all part of the service. There's no upsells, no downsells, no side sales, no gimmicks, no 99 cent, and then try to sell you $10,000 worth of stuff. It just comes down to one fee. I give you everything that I that I use myself personally and then some and all you got to do is decide how you're going to employ it into your own approach to the market right now you need to have a trade plan everybody does you need to understand what that trade plan is you need to be able to employ it with a great deal of consistency and discipline okay you need to be mentally conditioned to do the job that you are set out to do each and every day. Right? I can provide the analysis. I can teach you the lessons from all my failures I have suffered over the years. And it's all designed to just help you grow. Right? This way you come to a prepared chart and go, all right, well, it's pretty simple. Um, you know, I'm going to provide you with liquidity in the market. I'm going to interpret it for you. I'm going to make your life as easy as humanly possible so that you can just focus on being the best trader that you need to be, right? Like that's that's the whole idea here. 
So I just go one by one. Right? These are all levels that are meaningful to me. And again, they're all provided for you. You can set up your chart however your heart desires. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm just here to help you and provide the things I wish somebody provided for me. Because had I had these things and had I heard the hard lessons learned, I'm pretty sure my career would have advanced a lot faster than it did. And that's all I can be, right? All I can be is somebody who helps you. That's, that's all I want to be. I just want to be here to help you. And in doing that, you know, it makes, it should, in theory, make your life a little less stressful, okay? I think I'm putting this over this in part. 72, 72, 79. All right, like this only takes what, a few minutes? Okay. This only takes a few minutes. Three. I mean, again, this shouldn't take you all day. It should take you just a couple minutes. And if you're the type of trader who is trading too much, okay, meaning you're over trading, if the market's not trending and you're trying to participate in reversals and things of that nature and you're trying to build a plan around that, why don't you just use these levels, okay, and only look to interact with the market? around these levels. So if the market doesn't come to touch one of these levels, perhaps there really isn't a decision that needs to be made. Maybe you're over trading because you don't know where to look. And if I provided you where to look, maybe that would make your life easier. Right? Because I don't think anybody should be trading without having an understanding here of not only the way the market moves, what drives the market, but also where the most significant areas in the market are, okay? The market's always going to be moving around, but the fact of the matter is key things are going to happen at key places. and if you are looking to take part in a market where there's the greatest chance of something transpiring right we have to assess what that could look like when we get there maybe these levels would be meaningful to you now i'm setting up the chart that i am personally going to be trading on monday okay but i also provide the exact same levels for probably the most popular futures market traded, and that's going to be the S&P 500. Okay. Oh, now I have my levels. Okay. So you can look here at my four-hour chart. In fact, I'll expand this so you can see. Okay. So here is Thursday. We had a contract rollover Thursday. Friday, and this is going to be for Monday. I want you to notice something. What did this level provide? It provided resistance, right? What did this level provide? A break, a retest, sell off, okay? Push back up. What did this level provide? Resistance. What happened at resistance? Market sold off again. Notice where did we find support twice? At this level, okay? Same thing here. Next day, we push up, unsuccessful in pushing any higher. Notice I use volume profile as well. There was a volume point of control right here, 81.31. You can see we tested it. Boom, we pushed through, found support. And then when we tank through this, okay, if you're a trending trader, which I am, right? I'm a big fan of trading with the trend. Um, even when I'm taking a reversal, I'm trying to reverse in the direction of the overall trend. It just adds validity and puts the odds in my favor to a higher degree. Notice this. We crashed through this. Where do you think an ideal spot to take profit was? 
79.72. Where do you think another spot to take profit was? 79.55, 43, 79.02, all right? I mean, from here, when the market sold off from 10 a.m. on Friday, basically into the close, where are you going to take profit? One target, two target, three target, four targets. Right? But if you don't know where these levels are based on higher time frame analysis derived from daily and weekly charts, you're missing the bigger picture, guys. Um, I, I know most of you are looking to simplify your trading. Okay? Knowledge is power. Information is power. Okay, That is how you're going to simplify your trading. You're not going to simplify your trading by trying to find some piece of software to do it for you. You're not going to simplify your trading by trying to find some guru to tell you when or where to buy and sell. Right? What you're going to need is information. And then you're going to need to build a plan around that information. And then you're going to need to act upon that plan, employing that information with a great deal of consistency and discipline and at the end of the day that is the only way to find long-term success in this business right? that's what it comes down to right? I didn't spend the whole day in the office on Friday truthfully I didn't I had other things to do okay did I take a short yes did I do okay yes did I miss this whole big run yeah I did can I live with it sure right it doesn't matter to me because I know come Monday, I'm going to do the exact same thing I did on Friday, which is the exact same thing I did on Thursday, and Wednesday, and Tuesday, and Monday of last week. Why? Because I have a plan. I have key levels. Okay. When you're trading with a hev heavily leveraged position, you don't need this move every day to have a very rewarding week. Right? What I need to identify... It's somewhere between 20 to 50 ticks. That's it. That's all I need. Right? I don't need a 200 plus tick move. I just don't. Right? I built my plan rules around this 20 to 50 tick range. Why? Because I can almost find that on a daily basis. If I do my job right, I know I'm going to take X amount of losses, X amount of wins, X amount of break evens, and at the net of all that, I should have some net profitability at the end. And that is trading, guys. Right? If you're looking to take every trade and win every trade, it's not going to happen. Right? So for me, personally, you can review some of my prior trades over the last week. There's videos of everything on YouTube um, or on the blog on my website. If you just go back and examine how price interacted around these key levels... More often than not, the trades that I took at the key levels were the trades that produced the most predictable outcomes. Now, there's some times where I'll trade off of a VWAP. Okay? If I feel like it's giving me some reason to believe that the market's going to push either above or below it, uh, I'll work off of that. Right? Sometimes it's intraday price action that I have to identify. And in some cases, that's the spot where I end up getting into the market. And in some cases, it just comes down to waiting to one of these levels to be hit. But if you are over trading, if you're taking too many trades, which is something that most people suffer from, all right? The fact of the matter is, you could eliminate them by only taking trades around these levels based upon how price acts, okay? Let's look at the five minute chart real quick. All right, this is the four hour. Right? This is where you know, my higher time frame publishes on the same screen so that I can see it all. But here's Friday. Let me, let me make this a little bit bigger. Okay, Here's Friday. Now, you're going to go, Anthony, where did you get short? Okay, Why did I get short here? I'll, I'll explain it to you. Notice we made a high. Price came back down. We pushed back up. And we essentially got stuck right here. Okay, right? We got stuck. Right there. That's what happened. Live, in real time, while the market was ticking, 
I said to my clients very specifically, if we cannot overcome this area, right? Price broke down, pushed back up, boom. We made lower lows here, okay? The price came back up. We were in this area very specifically. My comments were very, very clear, right? I don't dictate to anybody where they should buy or sell or tell them what to do with their money. It's none of my business. All I can tell you is what the evidence in the market provides, how I interpret it, and what my expectations are. What you do with that is totally up to you, right? I'm not a CTA. I'm not here to tell you how to manage your money. I'm not a licensed money manager. I don't want to be a licensed money manager. I don't want to be a CTA, right? Price pushes back up. What happens? We get stuck. And I told my clients very specifically, I'm like, if we cannot overtake this area to punch through the highs, we're going to fall back, right? If we flush the session VWAP, we're going to push into 8067. I must have said this seven times, right? Guess what happens when we flushed the session VWAP? In a matter of 90 seconds, I got short and took my profit. Okay? 23 ticks. I got short at 80, 90 is where my order filled. And I took my profit at 80, 67. Now, 80, 67 was a predetermined level, right, that I provided my clients the evening before. I said it, like I said, seven times. Market pushed right through there. Did I hold it for more? No, 23 ticks was more than enough. Market comes back up, okay? Right here, told my clients again. I said, listen, this candle specifically looks problematic, right? If we can't break this high, we're gonna have a problem, okay? So we use this high, and I told them when this candle came back up, I go, it appears as though we're not gonna break this high. What are my expectations? We push back below, okay? We pushed back below, we came back, got trapped at the VWAP, which again, made it very clear, the VWAP here can play its role as resistance. Boom, market breaks back down. Notice this perfect test of 80.67, right? Market fails at 80.67. Boom, where do you take profit? One, two, Three, now we broke, retest, here's four, okay? We broke, we pushed back up, started getting choppy as this continued to go on, All right? But this level, 8067, I talked about till I was blue in the face. Why? Because it was meaningful, All right? I felt like we couldn't break this specific area, we flushed the VWAP, this is where we're headed. Market pushes lower, goes on to make what? A new low for the session. Now I have what? I have lower lows, I have lower highs. Did I vocalize that? Yes. I said, hey guys, looking at lower lows, we're looking at lower highs. If this stays true to its pattern and direction, what do you think is gonna happen next? Well, we just made another lower high, okay? Took a little while, we pushed back down, pushed back up. VWAP holds right here. From there, the market absolutely tumbles. Where's the gap, guys? I always tell them, look for the gap. 95 ticks. I told them very specifically, this candle here, right there, does not hold. Unable, by does not hold, meaning inability to push above it, I should say does hold. What's likely to happen? Here is our next lower high, and we should now make a lower low. That's exactly what we did. I'm not telling you this because I was correct. I'm telling you this because that's what the evidence suggested. Okay, The evidence the market provided at the time suggested this was what to transpire based around the higher time frame levels, the liquidity in the market, the analysis, the interpretation, the expectation, all based around the evidence presented. Okay. 
I'm willing to help you in doing that for you. I do this for crude oil, the NASDAQ, the S&P, and gold. I am not going to lie to you. Personally, I only trade crude oil. All right? But I apply the exact same techniques to crude oil as I do the other three markets. So if you're trading one of any of the four, I deal with this live. Right? I can, I'm there with you for three hours every single morning. There's sometimes we sit there and twiddle our thumbs because there's nothing to do. Right? And that's just part of trading. Sometimes there's nothing to do. But when there is an opportunity to be had, and if it is able to be interpreted, we talk about it. Right? Are there any guarantees? Of course not. That's life. But having the ability to know where these key levels are, especially if you are a habitual over trader makes all the difference all right so we broke it so we took a big impulse we took a correction we stumbled a little bit here the vwap here held beautifully and that was the onset here to the push lower now truthfully again i stepped out of the market right i stepped away i had other things to do but i took a very calculated trade here why because I told them very specifically I'm looking at this price action we keep testing it we have the inability to push through it if we flush the VWAP we run to 8067 you may go out of all this move you only took 23 ticks like I mentioned before I'm on the hunt for 20 to 50 ticks today that's all I need okay but for somebody with a smaller account or somebody who likes to hold their trade longer. You need to understand where these levels are and you need to be looking to fill the gap, right? Or the field of play, whatever you want to call it. But you must understand where they are. I will provide them to you. It's part of the service, okay? You need to build a plan around it. You need to execute that plan with great consistency and discipline. Okay? I'm here to help you. I'm here to review your journal. I'm here to, to answer any questions I can for you. But you have to put in the work. Okay? I can't do it for you. I won't do it for you. Nobody else can do it for you. Nobody else will do it for you. Okay? It really comes down to, are you ready, willing, disciplined, and patient enough to do it? It's hard work, but it's also very, very rewarding work. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I wanted to, you know, I'm going to try to make a habit out of this once a week setting up my chart right so you guys can kind of see exactly you know how i have it going right so this is what my chart looks like okay so i have this on the top of my screen underneath my screen i run my naked chart okay that's on where i make my intraday markings on the chart so here is levels right volume profile from previous sessions on my naked chart is volume profile for the current session, right? in addition to whatever analysis markings I make intraday. So I got my four hour, I got my five minute, I also have my naked five minute, and then I have my three minute reference. Right? Then I have my order flow, I have my liquidity, and then I run my other order flow on another screen. Right? But all of this plays into the equation of making the best decisions. And even with making the best decisions, losses are going to occur. So that's something you have to accept. That's just part of it, right? Being right in trading includes being wrong. A lot of people can't understand that. It's not the way we were taught to think. However, it is the only way to be able to take the next trade without being affected by the prior one. Whatever happened in the prior trade has nothing to do with following your trade plan into the next trade. So appreciate you guys. Thanks for being here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Hopefully you see why, to me at least, level, these key levels are so important. Um, and I don't think anybody should genuinely be trading without them. All right. God bless. I will see you guys in the next video.